Welcome back to Just a Printer. Current uh, issue here we're having. I don't know if you can see that. I'm pretty sure you can. The uh, the toner is really washed out, uh, mostly in half tones. Uh, solid black, you know, it looks good, but anywhere there's a half tone, it wasn't very strong. So, uh, I automatically thought, <coughs> excuse me, it was a transfer issue, which proved to be correct. Uh, I let the technician know that it's like the toner isn't transferring to the paper correctly, and he agreed. So he replaced the uh, transfer belt, and I think I looked up, uh, this thing had like three million clicks on it, or close to it, and that's about what you get out of the belt, so it was time. But uh, it's just interesting because, I mean, this thing doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not broken or torn. Uh, I mean, you can see lines in it, like it has, it's used, but it doesn't look bad. Um, here's the new one. New one looks a lot cleaner. Um, and that could be part of the problem too, is that there's just so much dirt on here that it wasn't transferring correctly. But that just goes to show that sometimes the part that is defective doesn't really look bad, but it, uh, but it is bad. So, thought that was interesting. Uh, but now it prints fine. Just printed uh, 2,000 menus. Okay, I don't know if that'll focus or not. But the blacks are washed out up here, just on this top edge. And even the, uh, the image over here isn't quite as crisp as it should be. And uh, there is a side-to-side -side pressure adjustment for the transfer that uh, probably needed to be tweaked since there's a new belt in here. But uh, there's two screws here, two screws back here. And uh, to increase the pressure, you loosen this screw and you push this plastic wedge. And it's a wedge, so the further it goes this way, the more pressure it puts on that spring. Uh, so this front edge uh, was the edge that the density was low on. So I increased the pressure a little bit and it didn't do a whole lot. So then I went over on this side and decreased the pressure on this side and that, uh, that equalized it out. And now you know, the density is nice and black. And this image is a lot better too, and you can kind of see that side by side. It just has overall richer look to it. So uh, that's one way to get the uh, the transfer. Uh, all that does is adjust the pressure between the drum and your paper. So we just weren't getting enough pressure here to get the toner to transfer to the paper, but now we're good. So. Quick tip of the day. Okay, things are gonna get a little crazy here. So, I don't know how my content is gonna go because I'm gonna be focusing on getting the printing done correctly. We got about 30,000 impressions to do on here. This is the first three signatures. It's just the black and white. Uh-oh. You know, I bet this stacker yesterday uh, we pulled a shim out of to try and get to work without it, but uh, I should probably throw that back in there. So I gotta clean out all these jams. Okay, here's the shim that I put back in here, which just raises this up. Uh, my T2 
tech yesterday was wondering why I had put it in there. I put it in probably like a year ago, and uh, this might be why. So I put it back in and hopefully it'll run fine, but while I was in here I cleaned some of the rollers and there's a good bit of dirt on some of those in there. Either paper dust or uh, toner will stick on those rollers and then they're, they don't have quite as much grip, so might as well clean it out while I'm in here. Either, either the shim or the cleaning is going to make it run better. Okay, that's better. No problem. Either that shim or cleaning those rollers helped it out. But back what I what, back to what I was saying, uh, this is uh, black on one side. The second side will be color on the 3070. So the three color signatures that are mixed. Uh, then the rest of them are black and white, and then there's color ones as well. So I'll be running that the rest of the day here, and in between I have some annual reports and some other little quick jobs. Okay, need to uh, print the guts here. Those are black and white signatures. Uh, I got the first single side running over here. Back side is color. So those are running. So both of those need to run through here yet, and then like six or seven more signatures are gonna be running through here, so. Okay, so all the color signatures are done. We got three, I forget how many does that make? Four more, I think. Okay, all the black and white signatures are done for booklets. Covers are printing. Should be done before too long. Then I have uh, these stickers that go in the booklet too. So one side of those is color and one's black and white. And then, then we're ready to make booklets while that prints. I'm doing some catalogs here. They look good. Uh-oh. Can't have that. You can see that line there. I clean some Coronas. That's better. Before, after. Okay, we got the guts of the newsletter here and here. And we got a little insert here. I got them loaded up. Oh, yeah, covers. Covers are here already uh, addressed on them so what I'll do is I'll use the machine to count uh, I'll look you know tray one will have you know 152 actually sorry it's not a tray it's a sack um, but anyways I'll type that in it'll print out the first sack I will band them together put the tag in a sack down here. We'll throw them on the pallets uh, and then we'll be done. Let's do some work. <laughs> Almost got started without my coffee. So here are all the tags. We got 16 different sacks of uh, magazines here and you can see Right here, uh, it's kind of blurry, 48 pieces. So each tray tag will have the total number. So I'm gonna go plug in 48. It's gonna collate 48 and stop. I'm gonna check that last one to make sure it's tray one. Check the first one of the next tray as it's coming through to make sure that's tray two. Rubber band them and they're done. And then to the post office. Let's do it. Do I have too much fun?
All done. Let's see, we got four extras there. And always good to see when there's not one extra. I printed exactly 1510. So, nope, off to the post office. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Got a couple of brochures to finish here. The uh, you might like to know. See that uh, that box? That's a transparency issue. I know I pointed this out before, but if you import it with optimizing RGB transparency issue, it goes away. Don't forget. I can save a lot of frustration. I don't know what program was used to design that, but um, the problem is, is they saved images or they drew illustrations in RGB instead of CMYK. So, anywho, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.